Hi, my name's Daniel Capavilla. Welcome to EBM Pabst. Today we're having a look at upgrading one of our EC axial fans with an Axitop Retrofit Kit. First, let's take a look at what comes inside an Axitop Retrofit Kit. We have an assembled outer diffuser with guard grille fitted, the inner diffuser and cover, a mounting bracket, assorted screws for the assembly, and some assembly instructions. Before beginning the upgrade, make sure you've disconnected power to the fan and allowed five minutes for the capacitors to discharge. The first thing you want to do is open the terminal box and take note of the wiring that's in the existing application. Then proceed to remove the wires from the terminals and remove any cable ties that may be connecting the cables to the guard grill. We're now going to remove the bolts that hold the guard grill to the wall plate. These bolts have been Loctited in, so you may need a breaker bar and a rattle gun to get these loose. After removing the bolts, discard the old bolts that were removed and get someone to help you move the fan and guard grill assembly from the wall plate. With the impeller, motor and guard grill assembly in a stable location, proceed to removing the bolts that hold the guard grill to the motor. After removing those internal bolts, we can remove the guard grill from the motor and impeller assembly. And put in its place the motor mounting bracket from the Axitop Retrofit kit. When we're positioning it, we make sure that one of the bracket legs is in line with the terminal box. With the mounting bracket in place, take the new screws from the Axitop Retrofit kit and mount the bracket to the motor and impeller assembly. It's at this point we take the opportunity to put the mounting pegs for the inner diffuser into the bracket. With all the screws and mounting pegs in place, we place the fan and bracket assembly back onto the wall plate. We've got some new screws from the Axitop kit which will fix this bracket to the wall plate. Once you've fixed the bracket in place onto the wall plate, it's time to rerun your cables back into the terminal box, making sure that you connect it the way it was before you disassembled the fan. You then run your cables along the bracket leg using cable ties as required. After running your cables down the bracket leg, it's time to install the inner diffuser. Make sure that the cable glands are in position with this cutout, and we simply press it on to the pre-mounted pegs. With the inner diffuser in place, we now put the outer diffuser on. Important to note, the cable exit from the terminal box should be in line with this panel here. The brackets should mount up with the holes that are already in the outer diffuser. And on the guard drill, you'll notice that there's a second wire that runs down the middle and this helps with positioning inside of the inner diffuser. And now we fix it in place with the supplied screws. With the outer diffuser in place, all that's left to do is place the cap on top of the inner diffuser. There are arrows on the cap which line up with that middle wire that was shown previously. The cap is fixed in place with the four provided screws. With the cap in place, you've completed the Axitop upgrade. You'll be able to get benefits now of reduced noise, reduced power consumption, or increased air performance. If you'd like any further information, please visit our website. Thanks very much for watching.